Hello, hello, Websy Wonky here again. Um, I'm going to be talking about being in the present moment, and hopefully this won't be too long of a video and drawn out. <laughs> um, but yeah, the holidays are coming up, and, you know, I just keep thinking to myself, you know, how some people just really aren't in the present moment. They're just rush, rush, rush. And, um... Just to clear up, you know, my example of being in the moment, being in the present moment, is some of you know that when I, a few, or a week ago or so, I broke up with my boyfriend, then I came back with him, and I think one of the issues that I realized in the relationship was I was not being present in the moment. You know, I was worried about little, little nitpicky things that bothered me, irritated me, and just things that progressed. And it seemed like at times I would focus on the past, how people treated me and stuff. And I'm still dealing with things, but I've learned, especially in relationship-wise and especially with the holiday seasons, we need to be present in the moment. We need to stop focusing on what the next thing is. I mean, some things are good, you know. This world isn't getting any better and, you know, we're not going to be here forever, you know. So we need to be in the present moment. Um, and I think a lot of times I struggled with this. And, you know, I'm trying to overcome it, too, in my life. Because a lot of times when we're not present in the moment, when we're not focused on changing ourselves and improving our future, we get locked in the past. We tend to think about what's happening there and what we can't change and the mistakes, the stupid little mistakes that we made in life, we can't change. So why do we focus on that? You know, if we can't change what happened, if we can't do anything better to fix it, we need to be present. And when we're present with ourselves, and we go inside and fix what we want to change in our lives and who we want to become in the future, we're more aware of what's around us than what's behind us. And, you know, sometimes it's good to reflect on the past of, you know, where you've come from, whether it's a bad situation, whether it's something that had a hold on you for so long, you know, there's just, just so many scenarios you could think of. But when you're present, just like um, yesterday I put a post or an example in a post, you know, is anybody present in the moment? Do you live in the present? So one of my comments, I was talking about the ocean. When you look at the ocean and how it moves, calm and collective, you know, it's just so peaceful. And I feel like we, as human beings, should be like that. You know, peaceful, calming, reflecting on the moment instead of rushing into the moment. Because I feel like when we rush into the moment, whether it's in buying something, in um, just making a rash decisions, and of course, I'm not perfect. I've made a lot of screw-ups. I've made a lot of rash decisions that I regret. But it, it helped me. It helped me mature. And that's what people don't understand. You know, they, they comment to you like, Oh, you made a rash decision. You're stupid for doing that. But, you know, sometimes it's through our ignorance. Sometimes it's through our stupidity that we can learn from those stupid mistakes and stupid things and learn to be in the present. You know, it's just like when I was young. This is just me. When I was young, I couldn't wait to turn 18. Then the next thing, I can't wait to graduate. Then the next thing, I can't wait to meet Prince Charming. You know, we're always looking for the new thing. And I have found out when you're so expecting and you're not so expecting, but when you're so um, enthralled with the thing of expecting things to happen when they don't 
and you have so many expectations for things to happen in your life, whether it be find the right guy, or whether it's to find the right job or a car or whatever, you know, when you have so much, so much expectations, you kind of lose sight of what's happening now. What's happening now? I'm in the bathroom talking to you right now. <laughs> That's the present, you know, but we, when we expect things and we have high expectations on things, like for me, marriage was one of them. Um, about four years ago, I married a guy and I was expecting so much things, a family of my own kids. And some people like for me, I don't have kids. You know, we expect, oh, I'm going to marry this guy. I'm going to be with this guy and I'm going to have tons of babies, you know, but you can't, I mean, there's nothing wrong with setting goals for yourself, but when you lose sight of what's happening now, you could, I'm just telling you, you could lose sight of what is precious to you and what is the most important to you. Like for me, in my relationship, I lost sight and I took advantage of what was important to me, especially in the relationship. And I've learned a lot from that and how stupid I was to think that the grass is greener when it's not. So just try to be in the present. You know, sometimes we have thoughts of what the future is going to look like. And we have this picture in our head, oh, it's going to be perfect. But it's, <laughs> nothing really is perfect if you think about it. Not unless you're referring to heaven. That's perfect. But anyways, if you like this video, like it, subscribe it. Do share. I wouldn't mind you sharing this video. And have a great day.